Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Masters of the Universe Tuesday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe Land Shark. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just to help the channel out, or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. First up, as we normally do here on Digital Caveman Presents, let's take a look at the packaging. And here on the top, we have Mega Constructs, Master Universe, Roboto, and Battle Armor Skeletor. On the front, Mega Constructs, Master Universe, nice artwork of the vehicle and the figures. Eight and up, 179 pieces. Land Shark, a barcode, some. Franche and a burn ass tree or bush. Might be a bush. I don't know. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print. Another barcode and some symbols of stuff. On this side, Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe, Land Shark, and I want to say that's a product shot, but it could be digital renders. And an arrow showing you how to open the box. On this side, Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe, Roboto artwork, and again, another either product shot or digital render, and I'm leaning closer toward digital render. On this, and again, the arrow showing how you open the box. On the back, that same picture from here. Again, I'm thinking that's a digital render. Mega Constructs Master of the Universe shows the shark biting action. Cross sale of Battle Cat and. Uh, Lord have mercy. The name escapes me. I know it's not Rotan because that's a different thing. But anyway, the crab guy who spins people around. Monstroid. That's his name, Monstroid. And megaconstructs.com, build and share, Mattel, small print, fine print, yada, yada, yada. That, my friends, completes a look at the packaging. Let's take a look now at the completed models. And first up, we'll take a look at Battle Armor Skeletor's accessories and shed a little light on it. Here we have a battle axe. You'll recognize it as just a repaint of He-Man's battle axe. Actually, it's not a repaint. It's molded in this plastic. So molded in color. Same thing with Skeletor's sword. You know, nice molded detail on both of those accessories. Now let's take a look at Battle Armor Skeletor. And... You know, it looks okay. The head paint, I don't know. Something looks a little off on it. Like they didn't get it quite right. And then on the chest, you can see he is wearing his battle armor, but it is damaged double damaged and let's look at his articulation he cannot look up without his head popping off he can look down that far he can do the full exorcist he's got some waggle in there waggle waggle at the shoulder spins around 360 degrees Comes up, well, 
comes up that far without popping out. At the elbow, it's on a hinge and swivel. Gives you about 90 degrees, and of course it will swivel 360 degrees. At the wrist, another 360 degree rotation. At the waist, about that much. You can twist around that much. Now if you unlock it a bit, off the peg, there's a peg in the hips that comes up into the torso. Uh, if you loosen that up a little bit, it will probably do a full 360, but when it's put together properly, it has stops in it and takes it about that far. Uh, for the legs, that much splits, kicks forward like a showgirl, and kicks back pretty good. At the knee, not quite a 90 degree angle. So if you have any of these mega constructs, all of this range of motion stuff is nothing new. You, you're already aware of this stuff, but for the sake of completeness, I go over it. And now let's take a look at Roboto's accessories. And here is his double-barreled laser blaster. And here is his axe attachment. And he is, of course, wearing his claw attachment. And his range of motions are going to be about the same as Skeletor's. Uh, the gears are, looks like tampoed on there. Maybe they're not on the inside. And then, you know, paint for his eye visor. This piece is molded in plastic and it does move up and down. And it is a separate piece that clips on there. The camera keeps going out of focus. Because this is in the background. Let's move it out of the way. So oh, that's nice. Uh, you know he's got some tampos here on his arms. And then some paint right here on his upper thighs. As far as his articulation goes, he can actually look up that high. Skeletor's uh, ability to look up is hindered by his battle armor. He can look down that far. Head does spin around 360 degrees. And he's got some waggle. And for the arms, 360 degrees all the way around. Comes up about 90 degrees. Hinge and swivel at the elbow. Approximately 90 degrees and a 360 degree swivel. And at the wrist another 360 degree rotation and that's on both Oops. Uh, at the waist again like Skeletor and any of the others that are put together properly there are little stops in there so he does not do a full 360 degree rotation at the waist now for the legs he gets a little more of the splits than Skeletor does Kicks up like showgirl, and he kicks back like a mule, and not quite 90 degrees, well, no, he actually probably gets 90 degrees at the knee, and this piece comes open. It's neat that they included it, but it is kind of annoying, and all you have to do to change out the parts for his hands you see it's got a little peg on there and there's a little hole and just get it till it pops into position and now let's take a look at the land shark 
think this is a very nice looking model. It does look like the Land Shark. I mean, right on down to the design of the guns. Which do raise and lower, just like the original toy. Uh, got some tampoed bricks here on the back. The treads are rubberized. Tampo for the eyes. All the rest of the parts are in color. A little bit of a dashboard would have been kind of a neat inclusion here at the front, but you know. And does it have the classic snapping jaw action? Let's see. It does. Awesome. And will it do it backwards? Does it backwards too? All right. This was actually a fun little build. Uh, we didn't take a look at the instructions yet, did we? No. And again, these aren't quite Lego instructions, but they are getting better. And this is the same artwork as the front of the box. And one neat inclusion, and I hope they do this continuing forward, uh, because the sets that I've put together before, I don't remember them having numbered bags. This one had numbered bags, and, you know, and I think one of them had numbered bags before, but the numbers really didn't mean anything. But for this is bag one, and, you know, it puts together this stuff in bag two, bag three, and there were four bags in total. So... Nicely colorized, nicely illustrated. Again, not quite Lego instructions, but they really can't do straight up Lego instructions now, can they? Uh, there were actually a good bit of pieces left over, and I've selected a few here because I'm going to make some modifications to the land shark. Maybe if I can get a hold of it. And I think these vent pieces would look kind of cool. Up here. And these angled pieces I'm going to put right here on the back. I think that looks pretty cool. You can tell me what you think in the comments. Unfortunately, there is no evil warrior weapon storage on the Land Shark. In order to put the driver in, this is what I like to do. Is put their hands on the controls. I can get my big gold hands in there to do it. And they just kind of snap on there. And sometimes they don't stay. And then once you have the controls in his hand, just kind of Get him in the position to sit down. Might have to straighten his elbows up a little bit. And there we go. Skeletor driving the land shark. I'm going to run you over, Roboto. No, eat me. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. It's time for my favorite part of a review, the comparisons. And because I mentioned it earlier and it's kind of sort of a land vehicle, depending on which, uh, what you take on it, you know, sometimes it flies around, sometimes it's a land vehicle, but there it is. Roton with Merman at the helm.
And here we have the Battle Ram with Sky Sled with Mechanic driving. And last but not least, we have the regular Panther. This is the one that came in the Talon Fighter and Point Dread set, I believe, because the carded one was the flocked version. The reason I picked this one over the flocked one is because uh, Battle Armor Skeletor here. And one thing that I wanted to show you is you see how he has pristine battle armor here and damaged battle armor in the land shard. And that, my friends, completes a look at comparisons. For final thoughts on the Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe Land Shark set, building set, uh, this was a fun little build. I, I really enjoyed this build. Um, it was made more enjoyable by the fact that it had numbered bags corresponding with parts of the build. And I hope this is something that the Mega Constructs brand does going forward on every set. I really, really do. That It does make these builds a lot less frustrating when it's numbered bags numbered to parts of the build. Um, you know, Roboto is a pretty good little figure and, you know, it's quite a bit of tampoed details at least and there are a lot of molded details too um like the legs i'm sure they're all re the legs are all reused from trap jaw i'm sure but the clear chest the tampoed gears and stuff that was pretty cool and then with the Skeletor, at least they didn't give us just another regular plain old battle armor Skeletor with it. He, you know, they changed the, the Tampo deco up on it a little bit and made it damaged battle armor Skeletor. So that's cool. It's neat that uh, they did incorporate the chomping function into the land shark because that was one of the neatest parts of the original toy. And, you know. I like the uh, control handles there. Again, you know, a little dashboard of some kind in there to cover up the inner workings would have been nice, in my opinion. Your opinion, of course, may vary. And, you know, I like the rubberized tracks. I know over time they will degrade. But I think it's a fun, cool little addition. You can let me know in the comments if you agree. So, a nice little model. Quick and fun build for about 20 bucks if you get it retail. Well, that does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it and building the model. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or just help the channel out further, or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future, you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.